What's up guys, my name is Ashton Lorian, and I'm gonna take us back to where the journey began. This journey began where my mother and my father, they got divorced. My mother was removed from the church and they humiliated her in front of the whole congregation, called her some not so fun names. And it wasn't necessarily your ideal intro to Christianity, especially for me. I uh, was passionate then too, and I deeply disliked the church. I didn't like Jesus people, I didn't like Jesus, I didn't like the church or anything. I had this distasteful experience, I, I held it close to chest. As the story continued, I was wilding out. We were bouncing from house to house across the city, going into my junior year. Into my junior year, in the summer, I was invited to a youth group summer camp. I had no um, intentions of going until I lost a game that forced me to have to go. It was at this camp, the second night, where Scott Hayes, the pastor of Element Church, he was the speaker at the camp, he intros the night with friends. Hey, I think some people are looking at a perfect God through the lens of imperfect people and I was completely wrecked. I went home, sat in Burger King's parking lot with who I call Papa Williams, also known as Marvin Williams Sr., and I asked him 99 different questions. Does Adam and Eve have belly buttons? Can you prove the, the resurrection? Talk to me about the cross. I mean, every apologetic you can think of and every single one he knocked out of the park. It was in that parking lot I gave my life to Jesus. It was here that my passion began to want to truly represent the body and help represent God to the best of our abilities. But of course, challenges were met. In July 27th, 2017, I was given the information that my mother passed away. It was here that I was deeply grieved and I had to reconcile with the fact that she was no longer here. And I was prompted with the question, do I still want to do this? She didn't have the best experience of church and I felt called that I need to do a better job in helping equip the church to the best of our abilities to represent the body well. As I was embodying this calling and this deep conviction, I was heading on the journey towards the internship. The week before that began, we were at a conference with some friends of mine and about 20,000 people were there and four of the individuals, all who didn't know each other, came up with a similar message that said, hey Ashton, you know you're called to be a pastor, stop running from it. Here I was reminded, whoa, the conviction runs deeper than I could even imagine. God must be up to something. And so that led in and helped ignite the fire leading into the internship where I got to learn more skills and more competencies and better equipping of myself and of others to help do the work of the ministry. So that being said, I went to Moody Bible Institute. I, uh, I'm about to finish up my degree for the main purpose that I wanna talk about the theological worlds and make it palatable so that the city and those that maybe don't have the access to you know, the deep dives in theology, I wanna be able to make that palatable for our context to be able to understand. And so that's what I did. And coming back here as becoming a minister in training, I've grown even deeper with my passion for the corporate bride alongside my passion for my personal bride, AKA Monique Lorian. And now the two of us get to help do this thing together as we're growing and we're learning and trying to help equip others to do the works of the ministry. And today's a special day. This is a day that I'm super grateful for, and I genuinely wish my mom was here to experience it. And not just for the cliche, mama, we made it, but for the deep, deep understanding that mom and the person that's here listening to this, that the church is worth our lives. That despite our hurts and despite our biases and our experiences, I promise you, God's promise of coming back one day is worth our everything here and now. And so I want to do the best with the team here, with my bride and everyone around us to help love the city one life at a time, build the local church, and see what God will do with our yes. Thank you guys and for everybody that's been investing in me in this journey. The list is so long. Uh, I'm grateful for every single one of you.